Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and today we are talking about liquids and vapor pressure. In all liquid substances, the highest energy molecules will escape the liquid and enter gaseous phase. This is why we have evaporation at temperatures below boiling points. A substance's vapor pressure shows the pressure exerted by the evaporating liquid on the surroundings, and thus indirectly shows just how much is evaporating. The higher the temperature, the higher the vapor pressure. Eventually, however, in a closed system, equilibrium is reached, and there are an equal number of molecules evaporating as there are molecules condensing. This picture of my sample of bromine shows this equilibrium. After being left undisturbed for a couple minutes, one sees droplets of liquid bromine forming on the sides of the glass, showing this dynamic equilibrium. Vapor pressure in solids is often lower, but still existent. However, one can see the vapor in the sample of iodine. When vapor pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure, a substance boils. Therefore, at sea level, a substance will boil when the vapor pressure is 760 millimeters of mercury. Though at higher elevations with less atmospheric pressure, less vapor pressure is required to reach boiling. This is why water boils at lower temperatures at higher elevations. Recalling that solids also have vapor pressure, it is sometimes the case where a substance will hit a vapor pressure equal to atmospheric pressure before it even melts. In cases such as this, sublimation occurs, where a substance skips the liquid phase and goes from solid to gas. Two examples of substances that do this are arsenic and carbon dioxide. This is why carbon dioxide forms dry ice, as it cannot exist as, as a liquid at less than 5.1 atmospheres of pressure. In the vacuum of space, this becomes the case for all substances, as there is no pressure to keep substances liquid. In space, liquids are non-existent. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave questions or suggestions in the comments below. We will see you next time.